Welcome mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser and this is Reketeer, an item shop's tale. It's a new game uh, that I got off Steam for about three and a half quid because it was on sale. So if you look at it and you like the look of it, buy it quickly because it's cheap at the moment. Anyway, basic premise here. Oh, I think my uh, mouse is on screen. Let's not have that. I really hope that wasn't actually on the recording. It's, I don't think it's supposed to turn up on the recording, but I can never tell with Bandicam. It sort of decides what it wants at the time. Not important. Game. Reketeer. So, my understanding of the basic premise is... You are a person. And you own a shop. And in order to acquire supplies for the shop, you have to go out on a little sort of dungeon crawler adventure things. Complete quests. The quests get you items. And instead of selling those items to a merchant who would then sell them on to somebody else... What's going on? Oh god! Okay, this is happening now. I haven't seen this, so I don't I don't know what's happening. If you haven't figured it out, it's a, it's a Japanese game. Tell of a fairy, a girl. Racketeer. An item shop's tell. Oh, it's singing at me now. Oh, that can't be good. I'm gonna get, um... <laughs> I don't wanna get content I need. Yeah, so there's a shop, there's a fairy. So I think you sort of put the things out, you set the item prices. Let's, let's skip that. I don't want to get caught in the... Um, on the <laughs> content ID stuff. Right, yes, yeah, so, so you find items, you then got to figure out the price to sell them at. And that, that's the game, I believe. New game, do the thing. Event skip. I don't want to skip the event, I don't know what it is. Mataku. Oh good, it's Japanese voice acting. I was afraid it was going to be um, English dubbed, because English dubbing over Japanese... Well, certainly in the animes, for something like this, it might be able to get away with it, but um, the voice acting is noticeably worse, usually, on um, English dubs over Japanese ones. And there is a very good reason for that. It's usually because they're trying to fit English words to the Japanese mouth movements. And you end up with some really strange sounding sentences. Just the intonations end up in strange places. And sort of the speed that they would speak would uh, vary wildly within a, a sentence. Just try and make it fit. Um, unless they put a lot of work into it. Like the, uh, the wonderful fellows over at uh, Team Four Star. They put a lot of work into readjusting the, um, the animations they're dealing with. To actually fit into a natural... Um, sentence structure for English speakers. Uh, and certainly Dragon Ball Super, um, in fact, most of Dragon Ball, thinking about it, didn't have that problem so much, but it, it basically boils down to how much effort the, the developers are willing to put in, basically. Anyway, this is this nothing to do with the game. Oh, for the love of, she is still asleep. So I don't get to choose my own name, I'm guessing. Does she really not understand how important it is? Maybe I should give these guys actual voices, but I can't be, oh, I can't be bothered for the moment. Purple, can't eat another bite. So there's only occasional voice acting then. Well, uh, the person, they like candy. Mimble Werble. Okay, if I get to name my character, my character is getting being named Mimble Werble. Because that's the best word I think I've ever seen. Mimble Werble, yes. That was a very polite voice line for a very angry shout. <laughs> Oh, okay, so the character's name is, uh, Rocket, or Rosette. Rosetti? Rackety. Receipt. Receipt! That's it, that's her name! I'm calling her Receipt. Because it's like, shop pun. That may actually be what they're going for, now I think about it. Ooh, wow, when's it? Oh, dear. Good morning. I bet this all sounds... <laughs> Me reading these voice these voice lines from those characters with my voice does that can't sound right for you. I'll come up with actual uh, actual voice acting for them later. I want to get into the game. Right time for good morning. You're planning on spending the rest of the day, the rest of your life, dreaming of sweets. That's, that's not unreasonable. Sweets are awesome. Today is the day we set for opening the store. We did. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> Mead. Of all the oh, so Tia's French, is she? She occasionally swears in French. 
Go wash yourself, your face, make yourself presentable. And join me downstairs in the storefront. Okay, go right down. I like that mushroom thing. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Oh, okay, the graphics have changed. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. Okay, Tia, let's open the shop right now. Capitalism, ho! Patience, receipt. Is a virtue you will need. Everyone needs patience. It's very, very bored now. We need to take care of a few matters before we open officially. Like, we have no stock. I can see right now there's no stock. You can't open a shop with no stock. You've got nothing to sell. This is a... Oh, joy. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You can't... Oh, Jesus. You can't open a shop if you've got nothing to sell. That... This doesn't make sense. You surely you'd set up the adventuring part first and then open the shop. Okay, well, somehow I doubt that a store without anything to sell is going to attract all that much business. Uh. Oh yeah, we don't have anything to sell. How are you pe how do you function? How is this supposed to work? What is the plan here? What do we do? This is not the time to ask that question! You should ask it, be asking this before you've arbitrarily decided to open the shop. Okay, so we need to get stock of items from the store. We have nothing to sell. Can't claim too much of a shop. That's true. Hmm. So where should we go to get stocked up? Best way, I think, will be to visit either the town market or the merchant's guild. We need to we give our regards to the head of the guild regardless. That would probably be our first stop. Okay. I don't want to tell you how to do your job. But I'm gonna, if you're going to the market and buying items to sell in your shop, you're going to have to sell those items at a higher price than you originally bought them for in order to make a profit. That is how, you know, basic sales work. If you're buying it from the market, why can't your customers just buy it from the market as well? It'll be cheaper there because they won't have to pay your profits on top of it. That's the place run by the old guy, right? That narrows it down. The guild operates as a wholesaler for local merchants. Okay, so yeah, going to the guild makes sense. Going to the market does not. If we start by, we can purchase an initial stock. It would not hurt to grov, uh, give our polite regards to the guild chief either. Especially since the guild is the organisation that allows us to operate here in the first place. Okay, got it. Let's go right now. When you want to leave the shop, head to the front door. I could probably have figured that one out, thanks. I don't... I don't need telling that doors are the means of getting in and out of rooms. Go and locate it at the other corner. I can see it! Uh, but I want to leave through the window like an action... Oh, so it's receipt that needs telling not to go through windows. To, interna to eternity and... Receipt. Hi. Was that supposed to be to an infinity and beyond reference? Was she making reference to Toy Story? How does Toy Story exist in this universe? I suppose Toy Story is probably one of those universal constants that's just so pure it needs to exist in every universe just to make that universe function. Anyway, what am I talking about? Oh, I can move now. Button 4, change camera. That's all very well. I'm using a controller, which is button 4. Not that one, apparently. Okay. So why? Why is button 4? Um, I like this view, actually. You know, I quite like the look of this, uh, this design. The sort of 2D sprites on this sort of 3D um, sort of backdrop. I quite like how that looks. I don't really know why, I just... I think it's cute. Through the door. Okay, so I need to go... If you return now, no time will pass. Okay, so I've got a time mechanic in the top corner there as well. This action will not take any time. Going to a dungeon. Okay. So if I go to the Adventurers Guild, I could go dungeon hunting. I'm assuming this is all blacked out. I can't do that now. I'm just getting my head around the uh, time mechanics. But given this is a Japanese game, there's a very good chance it'll explain all of this in excruciating detail for basically no reason. So, travelling around the city won't take me any time. Going on an adventure will take two time blocks, and then I've got to sort of manage timekeeping as well as 
sailing and what uh, sailing? <laughs> selling <laughs> selling stuff and oh, keeping the shop open. Oh key cokey, excuse me. <coughs> ah something in my throat. Ah Energy drink shall sort the problem. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hmm, a girl and a fairy. You're not allowed to call them that anymore. Oh, oh, you mean a... a okay, yeah. They're, they're, it's, a, it's a species. I get you. Sorry. You're a seat in that loan shark. You got into business with a loan shark? There's nothing really wrong with that, but it's a strange choice. While that is not, well, an incorrect assessment, could I ask you to refrain from calling me a loan shark? Surely a loan shark would be better business than a shop that doesn't have any stock. That's right, mister. She and I are partners. Don't be mean. Aren't you like 12 years old? You're partners with a fairy loan shark? There's got to be a backstory to this, this situation, rather than just going, yeah, there's a shop here now, do stuff. Ah, uh, forgive me, forgive me, partners it is. So, how are the preparations for running that shop coming along? Quite well, thank you. Aside from the fact we have no stock. In fact, we plan on opening today, so we stop by in order to show our gratitude for your help. Ah, very good. You two know what's what. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll be glad to help. That's very kind of you. Given the way you were talking before, I assumed that you'd be slightly more, um... Not adversarial, but he wouldn't be looking to do you any favours. Whereas he seems quite like a friendly guy, so I don't know why uh, we all came to that conclusion. We appreciate your kindness. Thank you. We... Oh, sorry. Um, we appreciate your kindness. Sorry. Very important I get that um in there. Receipt isn't very bright, I'm thinking, is the uh, the running joke here. Thank you very much. No problem at all. Great, now sell this shit. So, you came straight here to pick up some merchandise, right? Well, up to the counter then, let's get you two sorted. This is our first time stocking up. Our funds are limited. What kind of loan shark are you? You should be rich from that. Loan sharking is, in, is infamously profitable. Oh <laughs> well. So, do not go completely overboard. I recommend purchasing no more than 10 items. K.O. Ooh, let's have a chat first. What is the guild? Right, so a guild is essentially a group of people in the same kind of business who cooperate with one another. It's a union, basically. Since the prices of items can vary from store to store, it's hard to do business if there isn't a base price between them, right? That's what the merchant guild is for. We manage wholesaling and keep prices stable throughout the city. Fair enough. That's why we require that everyone who wants to do business around here register with the guild. Perfectly reasonable. Don't worry, your store, Reketeer, Receipt tier? Oh, I get it. It's a combination of re receipt and tier. I, I didn't know the character's name before. I didn't make that uh, connection before. And I've only ever um, heard the name said in a zero punctuation. And you usually pronounce it Reketeer. Um, so that's how I pronounce it. But I'm going to keep calling it Receipt because shop puns. And again, tier could be pronounced Tear. Receipt Tear. I don't know. It's already in the books. It ain't all just paperwork and red tape though. Now that you remember, you can pick up stock from your shop here. And you get access to a few other benefits too. We're here to help, so feel free to make use of us, okay? What can I do here? Buy stuff, he just said. Here at the guild, you'll always be able to, buy, to get goods for a set price. Most of what we can get hands on is practical stuff though. Weapons, armour, clothes, adventuring necessities and the like. Oh, that's a thought. It's just occurred to me, if... He's talking about selling weapons and armour and stuff, then I've got to make a choice at some point, presumably, between do I keep the best armour for myself to make adventuring better, or do I sell it to get more money? Because if the armour can get damaged in my adventuring... I don't know if that's a mechanic yet, but I'd be interested to know if it is. The town's main market, who you work with, is where you can go to get things like foodstuff, books, and other assorts of knickknacks. Knickknackery. The really flashy and rare stuff is a bit out of our league. If you've got a mind to get your mitts on that stuff, you'll have to go to dungeon stomping yourself. Or buy it off a customer. Also, you can buy off customers as well. Interesting. Oh, we'll also buy off any excess stock you have. Mind, we buy low as a rule, so if you want to make an actual profit, you're better off selling to your customers. That makes sense. Yeah, the wholesalers. So, they buy and sell at a base level price, then we've got to uh, 
No, I thought for a second that the uh, the new over the word talk meant I could just talk to him in general, but no, he's, he's referring to cities. About fusion? What the hell we get to fusion for? <laughs> Let's get down to that later. Merchant levels. Your merchant level is your ability as a merchant. As it goes up, you'll figure out how to decorate or even expand your store. Okay. Heck, you might even be able to convince me to let you have a look at some of our more uh, premium items. Makes sense. They want to sell their stuff that's uh, really good to the people who are most likely to be able to sell it well. So how about you raise your level? Also, how do you raise your level? Simple. Buy, sell, trade. This is an art, and you learn by doing. Tell me about the town then, buddy. The city is getting a bit famous for the old ruins and the like that litter the surrounding countryside, so we've been seeing a steady stream of adventuring types coming in for a while now. They're all here to try and strike it rich off undiscovered treasures in the wilds. Hunting for fat loot, they call it. Well, I don't know what they could see in chasing after oversized loot. Oh, Jesus wept. But their presence has also brought a lot of new merchants to the city. I sure won't complain, business has never been better. That sounds like a sort of um, bubble economy. I, at some point, people are going to run out of things to, f to loot from ruins and countryside. You might want to try and look into getting something a bit more long-term set up here, buddy. If you're looking for one, hmm, a few might be resting in the plaza. Oh, adventuring types, right, I didn't know what to talk about for really. I bet most of them will take, will take to the city's biggest pub, but fair enough. It's never too hard to sell to those wandering types a little bit of liquid. Oh, liquid pleasure. That, uh, don't, don't call it liquid pleasure, that's, that's a different thing. I mean, they probably will be willing to buy that as well, it depends exactly what kind of city we're in, but don't, don't call alcohol liquid pleasure. It's, it's, yeah. Even I go in there for a quick nip every now and then. I'm assuming that the pub doesn't double as a brothel. It could do. I don't know yet. I haven't been there. The more faithful will probably hang about the city chapel. Makes sense. We do get a few like that now and then on a pilgrimage or quest to find old holy relics. Uh, praise be to the seekers and all that, of course. You might check the Adventurers Guild proper. Two. What? That's not sentence. You might check the Adventurers Guild proper too. No, that, you, that sentence is phrased weird. You want, you'd either say, you also might want to check the Adventurers Guild proper, or you might want to check the Adventurers Guild too. Putting proper and too makes the sentence clunky and unwieldy, and I don't like it, and you're a bad man for making me say these things. They're in charge of making the exploration efforts aren't a total... But okay. So, they're limiting access to the ruins as well, which again makes sense. They don't want people breaking everything. They even succeed sometimes. Now, keep in mind that these places are only open at certain times. For example, that pub only opens in the evening. We're pretty much, we're pretty much open all the time, though. Right, okay, that makes sense. Pub's open at night when everyone's finished work. Chapel will be open Sundays, presumably. Um, probably most of the day as well, but we'll close at night time, I would assume. Adventuring guilds will be a 9 to 5 sort of job, I would imagine. Then again, if the Merchant's Guild's open all the time, maybe the Adventuring Guild's open all the time too. Which would be quite useful if it was, because then I could spend the nights um, hunting for treasure in the day selling them, but who knows. Wait, if you're always open, how do you time to find the time to visit that pub? For that matter, when do you go home? Little Missy, if you had the kind of Wi-Fi I do, you'd be up at work or in the source at all hours too. Merde, I guess I asked. Is he a French? Is she actually, is she actually supposed to be French, or...? Is it just she likes that word in the same way as I occasionally say the word wunderbar for basically no reason? I don't... I don't know. Maybe I will pretend that Tyr is French henceforth, because what the hell. Without unknown items, now if you go dungeon diving you'll find a lot of stuff that you won't be able to identify at first. In particular, I'll bet my hat you'll find a lot of what are commonly called mystery ingredients by the adventurers. At first you'll probably be tearing your hair out over all the junk you keep finding in those places, but as your merchant level goes up, You'll be able to sort out the stuff you find and pick the best materials and whatnot from the lot. Okay, so if I find a level 10 item and I'm level 2, I ain't going to be able to tell what it is. Oh, if you manage to get out of those death traps safely, you'll have time to identify everything safely. That means you won't know what you're carrying till you leave. Okay, so you'll pick up a bunch of 
stuff. When you get out, it'll go, here's the stuff you know what it is, here's all the stuff you don't. Right. Fusion. Are we talking, like, nuclear? Or are we talking Dragon Ball? Or are we talking, um, Doodle God, or whatever the hell it was called? Once a few merchant levels are under your belt, you'll be able to fuse items here at the guild. Or guild hall, sorry. There's quite a few items you can get, you can only get by using fusion, so I'd get real familiar with that furnace if I were you. Remember, what you put in affects what you get out of fusion. If you put in some materials of, say, plus two quality, then you'll get an item of similar quality as the result. Keep an eye on what you're fusing too, you don't want to waste good materials on some mediocre thing you can just buy somewhere. Another thing to keep in mind, it can be real tempting to keep your best quality items for yourself for personal use, but your customers know quality goods when they see them, and you'll earn quite a lot of respect if you sell top shelf merchandise. Ah, okay. So it's not that the merchandise can get damaged, but if the people see you're wearing the good stuff and selling them tat, that'll, uh... There's a couple of stages to what you can pull off with Fusion as you pick up some merchant levels, so experiment and be sure to come back here often to see what you can make. Right. Cool. Right, let's buy some stuff. So I can get one sword or a long sword. Well, let's buy a long sword. And... I can buy one of them. There we are, I bought two things. Okay, now what? Was that wise? I spent basically all my money on two swords. But I wanted to have a top quality sword for either myself or to sell. <laughs> yep, this is perfect. We shall turn when I stop so I will run again. That won't take long, you only had two bloody things to sell. Oh, is he giving me something? Oh, he gave <laughs> us some... Ooh, bread. Thank you for giving me bread, mate. Alright, little lady, give me your all. Capitalism, ho! Is she going to keep saying that? Alright, receipt, let's bugger off. Okay, Tia. Well, Adam Smith would be proud of us at any rate. Adam Smith? Adam Smith. I feel like I should know that, uh, that name. Pay no attention to the man wildly googling Adam Smith on his phone. Which I have remembered to put on silent for once, which is always nice. Adam Smith. Scottish economist. Adam Smith, FRSA, God knows that's a football, Scottish economist, philosopher, an author, as well as a moral philosopher, a pioneer of political economy, and a key figure during the Scottish Enlightenment, also known as the Father of Economics or the Father of Capitalism. I didn't just Wikipedia him, you can't prove anything. Shut up! Right, so now we go back to. Oh, so it didn't take me any time to go to the town. It won't take me any time to wander around it, but it will take me one time to go home, and one time, so two times to go off for a dungeon crawl. Assuming that's one to get there, one to get back. Um, pub won't be open, because it's daytime. Chapel might be. Let's go to the town square. Oh. I can't. Fine. Ah, we're talking to Tia again. Very well, it's time to give you a crash course on the basis of running an item shop. Okay, what do I do first? Put some items on display. If you don't have goods, people can't buy them. Fair enough. Right, I'm just going to paraphrase the, uh, the talking now, because we're 20 minutes in, I haven't done anything yet. Uh, let's just get near these counters. Um, right, so okay, so just go to the place and press a button. I, I've, I've got it. I've, what you... What you place will affect how people perceive the store Very carefully. Well... Okay, okay, good. Okay, we're back. Right. Okay. So... Let's see. It makes sense to put them by the window, so people who are walking past can see we've got two crappy swords. Reset, may I speak? Sorry, I keep calling reset. Receipt. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure, what is it? Those counters by the window, items you place that are visible to anyone passing by on the street. Yeah, that's why I've put it there. Because we've only got two items, we want them to see it. As such, putting eye-catching items, the sort of thing that makes you think I want to buy this more than anything else on those counters, is a core principle of running a shop like this. In a very real way, those customers are the face of the shop. Or counters the face of the shop. Yeah, 
I, I did. Yeah, I know. I'm putting, I'm putting two swords there because that's all I've bloody got. There you go. Now, now what? Oh, okay. So I can put red here. So the swords there to bring people in, and then we'll sell a bit. Of All right, that should do for displaying our wares. What do you mean that should do? That's all the wares we've got. Now what do we do? Sure it doesn't look dumb. I It does look dumb. We have three items. We're a shop that sells a crap sword, a semi-decent sword, and a loaf of bread. Everything looks good enough for a first attempt. Now I need to teach you how to actually sell things. Please go sit at the counter. Okie dokie. Let me move. Okay. I like these flowers. Can I sell the flowers? I think people would buy the flowers more than they'll sell that old piece of bread. Okay, now what? Well then the items are put in place, now you need to learn how to actually sell things to people without embarrassing yourself. Okay, oh. Do you actually have to lecture me? Okie dokie. Students do not listen to the... Okay. Right, now then. So when someone walks in, yell at them, hi. That's a very Japanese um, shopkeeper kind of thing. You walk into a shop with the nurse suits. Welcome, hi, how are you doing? Really, the customer helps me come to a relaxed while the store. It can do. It very depends on how, the, <laughs> how you welcome them. You walk in, you go, hello, can I help you, sir? I'm going to put them off a bit. Okay, I'm going to tell you. An item they want on that display, so then we'll come over to the counter to pay for it. Yeah, that's how shops work. Can I get this, please? Uh, that, uh, <laughs> Well, they won't be in the target window, we'll also be able to see the name and base price. Play close attention to that base price. Also, if you press button 3... Which one's button 3? You can view expanded information on the item in question. Consult the custom.exe program included with... What? Yes. Uh, wh what? What? Button? I don't know which one button 3 is. I've got a choice of A, B, X, or Y here. I'm not using my uh, Steam controller for once, so I've plugged in an Xbox One controller. But, yeah. Which one's button three? Which one's button three? <laughs> Let me find out which one button three is. Yeah, yeah, I've got a set of price. Uh, let's see. Okay, button three, so is that X? It's X. Okay. So you want to buy some stuff? I've got some. I got some water going in the background. I do have some water going in the background. Tan fabby babulous. Okay. Right. Okay. You recognise the base process as default to raise the occupants up. Okay. So let's. That'll be a reasonable price to sell this for. Okay. So I can go up. Quite a bit, actually. Okay. Is there a way of resetting it to default? Oh. Uh, uh, what? No, I don't. I want to make this zero again. Oh, I see. It was going one, and it went up to nine, and then it went back to one again. So my first first thought was, oh, I'm back to. No, it's taking me up to ten and eleven, twelve. So, so okay. Right. So it was. Base price of that. So, let's think. What's a reasonable profit margin on this? Is um, that about 20%? 20% alright. Try that. Yeah, just your offer. Might be obvious because we're satisfied with your offer. The sale, and you get a little experience on money if price is too high. Customer can simply walk out. Then let's determine the proper par price size challenge. And not so much they want to... Okay, so if I overdo it to a ridiculous amount, they'll just go, no, bugger this, and walk out. Um, if not, they'll negotiate. Okay. So, yeah, haggling is a, an op mechanic. Fair enough. Depends on how... 
Okay, so depending on the person, depends on how much I can haggle it for. So I won't haggle for long. A little bit, okay. Okie dokie. Hello, person. Can you get it, please? Okay, so I pick a price. So I need to pick a price. Uh, given that they're going to haggle us down, let's put it a little bit higher at 135 instead. This level, uh, luckily I end up haggling a little. Yeah, I know that's what I'm aiming for. Fine art of haggling. So you lower your price slowly, limit how long you can haggle. So we figure out there, deduce the desired price. The large number of stores sell at about 30% over base price. Okay, so my guess of 20 wasn't too far off. Not a has hard and fast rule, people usually accept that price level. Usually. If you manage to go over that, you'll make a lot of money, but you do not want to risk driving the customer away. So you're haggling. You make it a little bit cheaper. Can I make it cheaper? So if I take that down by 5%, how's that a sound for you? This is technically cheaper but still high, it will be up to the temperament of the customer as well to not make a sale. Yeah, so that makes sense. So if I aim slightly over 130, if they don't like it, I'll bring it down a bit. And if they don't like it, I'll drop it down to 120 after that. See how that works as a, as a starting point. You can sell me an item, you're ready for it. Okay, let's begin. Hey, okay. Hi, welcome to Receipt here. I would like this, please. A steel sword? We don't have a steel sword! <laughs> Where did you get that from? I don't... We don't have that! Okay. So, let's start off at 135. Uh, can you go to the lower, perhaps? Sure can! How about that? A little lower. Alright, bugger you then. How's that? Yes, an excellent price, 20%. Thank you so very much. Yeah, yeah, I sold a steel sword. No, you didn't. Because we don't have a steel sword. I don't... We don't have any steel swords. Hello, why are we doing this again? I did... What? Did I press a button to make this happen again? Look, just take it for that price. Yeah, cool. Bugger off. Okay. What was the... Did they make me do that? Or did I accidentally do that twice? You might good for someone who has never done this before. If you're the expert, why aren't you selling the stuff? Okay. Right. Don't worry. More an art. Than science. Right. Cool. So we've just been sat in here while I've been talking to you. Oh, a person. Hello, welcome to the shop. Oh, the shopness. Finally found it. It's bread. You didn't expect. Well, I can understand why you wouldn't expect to find bread in a shop that's displaying swords in the window, but okay. So, 100 and. How about 135? Don't underestimate the housewife. Okay. 130. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You sold all of our food. Nice. You did very well. Cool. We sold one loaf of bread all day. Oh. I know we only have like three items, but come on. You're very happy. Oh, good for you, Receipt. You're happy. Papa? What? What's your dad got to do with this? Am I missing something? That's how we started running an item shop. Is that the game over? Did I win? Oh, you were Oh, why we started up? Okay, so there is backstory to this. Great. Okay. Maybe starting off with that would have been better. But okay, I get you wanted to get this into. Here's a shop, sell stuff. That's not a shop, that's a coin. Oh, we're just, we're doing the whole... Oh god, it's going to do the whole um, intro bit. Oh dear. Tale of a fairy, a girl. I told you, you're not allowed to call them that anymore. They're called home... Oh, you mean the species, never mind. Yes, I'm going to keep making that joke, shut up. 
Right, story about a fairy and a girl like selling working item shop. Cool. Okay, see it. Yeah, 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 great. Go away. Okay, so. Oh no, it's not going to do the intro. It's just going to give a story. Let's see. Yep, the calendar says it's been three months since Papa left. Oh, so we've either been abandoned or we've been eaten by dragons. You don't get why he suddenly said, I'm going to be a hero. Because he wants to be a hero. Everyone wants to be a hero. Heroes kick ass. And I took off without saying when he'd be back. Yeah, he, he's dead. He'd been eaten by dragons. Actually, he's probably not even that. He'd probably been eaten by, like, a wild boar. I really hope he's okay. Now he's dead, mate. I shouldn't worry too much about him. The best thing about him is how tough he is. He'll be okay. No, he's dead. Okay, he won't be dead. It'll be the end of the game. We'll go into the deepest, darkest dungeon and find him. And he'll be sat there eating chips going, What the hell are you doing here? What? It's got a door. Yeah, okay, receipt. It's... This cannot be the first time in your life you've encountered a door. I get the joke is you're not very bright. But... Hi. Hello, who is it? Yes. Uh, there's nobody here. At my feet, it's... Bonbonba. Hello, fairy. You are Mademoiselle Receipt Lemongrass. Maybe he is French. Or is the whole thing set in France and I haven't picked up on that? Because why would I? It's... Japanese game. Okay. Um, Miss Fair. Okay, it can't be set in France because she would have otherwise said Mademoiselle Fairy. And yeah, it's not set in Japan either, or she would have said Fairy Sam. But let's go into that. Pardon me, but I'm the one asking questions. I think it's perfectly reasonable to ask, who the hell are you? Again, you are Receipt Lemongrass. Yes, I'm Receipt. My name is Tia. I am an agent of the Termi Finance Company. Termi? Term? To me? The Timmy's Finance Company. The little Timmy's Finance Company. Finance Company? You may collect a repayment on a loan paid out to your father. Here is the contract and my identification. Uh, loan repayments? I. Uh, play the terms, give me money, bitch. You are incapable of facilitating the payment. This house will be seized as collateral in order to pay the loan. Okay, these words are, are going to be beyond her. She's like, what, six? Seize? What? Yeah, you, you're threatening to make a homeless. But, yeah, the person who... Yes, he's not see. I see that there. I, by the looks of it, this, build, this room is like a singular room. It would be fairly easy for you to see that he's not there. Why were you addressing this to a child anyway? Oh jeez, he did get you by a dragon! I'm sure Lemongrass disappeared following a fracas atop the local volcano. So we've assumed he might not return here. He got eaten by a dragon! I was joking, but yeah, apparently he did! Cool! I was sure that he was going to get eaten by like a wild boar or something, because, let's face it, if he had the skills to be a hero, he wouldn't have set off <laughs> in mid-adulthood. He's having a midlife crisis is what he's happening there. However, he has not. Even if he has not, however, the contract covers this eventuality. Covers this? Quite. As the sole remaining member of his household, we shall require that you pay his debts in his stead. How am I supposed to do that? Barely have money to live by myself. Naturally, we're not demanding it all to be repaid at once. Hang on a minute. Low repayment as a central mechanic. Are we playing flipping Animal Farm now? Animal Farm? What's it called? Not Animal Farm, that's the flipping George Orwell book, dumbass. Um, Animal Crossing. That was what I was thinking of, Animal Farm. That's quite a mistake to make. <laughs> a book satirising the Soviet Union and a game about being the mayor in a town and owing money to the raccoon mob. They're not something you want to get mixed up. <laughs> Oops. Don't amount of time for any of your due, therefore... Am I going to get sold off in parts of distant foreign lands to repay Papa's debt? I don't think you'd be able to sell for much in separate parts, lady. As a one sole entity, you might make a couple of bucks to very specific clientele, but... I wonder if I can survive with only two internal... Oh, you mean... Oh, right, you mean internal organs. I thought you meant, like, getting your hand cut off and sell sold. Okay. Yeah, you can sell a kidney. You don't need two of them. 
Um, probably lose portions of your bowel, maybe. I don't know how useful that would be as a, as a transplant. Um, liver's a pretty good one, because you can sell half a liver, you can survive on the remaining half, and they're pretty good, got um, decent regenerative abilities, the livers. So you can, sell, you can live off that for a little while. Uh, sell one of your eyes, don't need two of them. Um, if you can sell both of your eyes, I mean, then you need to buy a dog, but, you know, or you could use a stick. Uh, teeth. Probably sell teeth. That was a, a plot point in um, Les Miserables. What else can you sell that you won't need? Hair. Sell all your hair. We'll go the full um, Fontaine. Sell your hair, your teeth, um, your chastity. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. That story ended notoriously well for Fontaine. Maybe a lot of spinach I can replace my blood. Oh, blood transfusions. That's a good idea. I don't want to be a sailor. Oh, Jesus. Bloody hell. Okay, references for days. Please listen to me for a moment. I have no clue where you're getting these ludicrous ideas from. Well, she's an idiot. That's where she's getting the ideas from. I don't do such a thing. Quite the opposite, in fact. You're gonna sell her your organs? What? I was sent here to ensure you wouldn't have to resort to such, well, absurd methods to pay us back. Okay, it kind of makes sense, actually. I mean, I don't think loan sharks do that particularly often. It's, you pay us your money back, or we're gonna break your legs. It's more a case of, look, we need you to pay us our money back, so we're gonna make sure you can do such a thing. That's, that's quite nice of them. I've been sent to support you to the fullest of my abilities, so that you may repay the debt by labour. Yo, I've never worked a single day in my life, because she's a child. Experience has no bearing in this case. Well, the matter is whether or not you're willing to work. She's a child, of course she's not willing to work, she's like six. If you don't wish to work, then that's it, the house is Termy, Timmy's. I'm calling it Timmy's, I don't know why. I'll have to ask, you, I'll have to ask you to leave the premises. The saying goes, those who do not work do not eat. That's that's not true in the slightest. It's literally what being a dependent is all about. So, Miss Lemongrass, which will be... Can you either stick to Miss or Mademoiselle? I don't care which. Just don't mix and match them like that. It's weird. Work or the house. I'll work, then. Splendid. But I don't even know what I can do. Actually, I already have an idea for that front. Where, of course, this is, city is a measuring hub, but this house faces out onto one of the, many ci the main city lanes. Therefore... I propose to convert the house into an item store. Turn the house into a shop. Gotcha. That, that's the premise. This isn't some friendship forged by fire. This is, look, I work for the Loan Shark Agency. You need to pay us back. Sell stuff, bitch. I keep calling her a bitch. I don't know why. <laughs> is she hiding under the bed? Mademoiselle Lemongrass. She's only gone for a little while to do market research. Where could she have gone? Was well, she fled? Why was she not? Or did she threaten to take everything she ever knew and loved? That's going to turn the house into a nice shop. It's foolish. Even if it wants to repay the debt. Royal Guild is terribly confused. On top of that, her father is probably He's eaten by a dragon. Outside. Oh, she's making a sign. Yayness, it's done. You made that on your own? That's quite impressive for a six year old. Shop sign, of course. Doesn't it look cool? Can't be a shop without one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna be making stuff. So not it. Is there a problem? The name, you're quite sure you've thought that through. Well, we're partners, right? You said so. She's not your partner. She's she's not. She's making sure you pay back a loan. You put receipt and tear and you get Reketeer. Is it neat? I know I'm pronouncing it Reketeer and Receipt, but it's just Reketeer sounds like a better title than Receipteer. And Receipt just sounds like a better name. Let's say the sentiment is commendable, but it's the two of us opening the store. So the name should reflect that, right? You don't like it? Yeah, she's not your partner. Reketeer ho. Mis mispronounce it even slightly and. Oh, Racketeer. Okay. Yeah. There is puns for day. 
Puns for days. I'm going to drink more of the enemy drink because I need some caffeine to get me through this. Right, so they're partners because Reseta's decided they are rather than they actually are. Can we get to the game, please? Mert. <laughs> You're a very sweary fairy, and I like that. How is it possible to sleep this much each day? How? She's a growing child. She needs sleep and food. Not to be worked 20 hours a day. Why is she dreaming of you? To do the best we can. Oh, that's, isn't that sentiment sweet? Wake the hell up, Rosite. <laughs> Who's on first? What? Oh, that's another bloody... Who's on first, yes he is, sort of things. Who's on second? No, he's on first. Abbott and Costello reference. Go look it up. It's actually quite a good routine. Considering it's a very simple premise, but it's done spectacularly well. It's delivery that makes that routine work. Right. Morning. Clops not have a good morning hand. Maybe it should do. The party an item shop now. Learn to be responsible and not sleep the day away. I refuse. Why are you smiling so much? That smile. And while sleeping is getting bigger. For no reason. I just think I saw something nice in my dreams. Good for you. Go wash up and let's get out of here. Oh, cool. cool. Let me do stuff! It's been 45 minutes and I've sold one loaf of bread. Uh, that's what I'm doing now. It's up to your judgment. You sit at the counter, open them immediately, or we can reorganize the shop, or we can even search for new stuff around town or elsewhere. How do I choose? As I said earlier, running plus this is more an art than it is something you can simply put a map through. Pick a thing and we'll deal with it. Neat. Let me do stuff. Right, I've only got 150 monies. I find it unlikely that I'll be able to buy much for that, so let's sell stuff. Yay! Oh Jesus, lots of people now. Right, someone buy a sword. Well, hiss. No one bought anything. Tia! Store atmosphere? Okay, so... We're a very plain... But we need a light nor dark, so okay. That's gonna be interesting. Right, sod it. Going out to the other market. Buy some stuff. Tree seed necklace. Okay. Purchase price. Oh, please don't tell me I could have bought more stuff from the... That uh, I saw something for cheap for a second there. Um, old muffler. Okay. Buy one of them. So I've only got 100 monies left. Ah, here we go. So that walnut bread we sold for. What do we sell it for? Like 120 in the end? We could buy here for 70. Yeah. I can't buy another one though. And they were surprised they found it. I was like, Jesus wept. People here are dumb. Right. Okay. We've only got 45 things left. 45 monies. We're screwed. Okay. Let's put the muffler and thing and wall of bread on there. Right. Someone buy stuff. Oh, hello! You want the old muffler? Yeah, it's a shop, of course we'll sell it to you. So, uh, let's... Do we want to sell it for about... 70? Oh no, not 70, 65 would be a better. Um, let's try 134% up. Can't you get out just a hair more? Certainly can! A good deal, lady. 30%. Aim for 30%. Let's see if I can start aiming to get 31 or 32% instead of 30. Hooray! Someone else buy stuff. Yay! It's a dude. You wanna... Oh, you want the nice sword. Your wife asked you to pick that up. Okay. Sure she did. You're not overcompensating for anything, I'm sure. Okay, let's aim for 30... 135. 
Alright, alright, alright. 132. Okay, so we're just slightly above the, uh, the 130 mark. Right, we have some money now. Anyone else want to buy some stuff? Oh, hello little girl. Please tell me she wants the sword. I, I want to sell her the sword. You want the bread? I want this. Can we rip off a little girl? Would I feel good about that? Not really. Selfish and mean. Eh, alright, fine. I'm at 32%. Oh, they weren't willing to buy it for 132. Damn it! How do I mess up selling bread? I mean, oh, I've got 170. Yeah, let's. let's... Sonic, let's go to the pub. Like nobody's here. What? There's nobody at the pub. Oh, is it? The, is this counting as the middle of the night rather than evening? Uh... Merchants Guild. Okay, so yeah, right. When I was here before, I just bought the swords because I thought that was all the stock. I didn't think to look through and buy more stuff. Okay. So let's see. Um, right, so I've got a sword that no one wants to buy. I haven't got much, so let's um, focus that. Let's buy one of them. One of them. Uh, what one that? Leather, leather glove. Let's buy a glove. Yeah, let's buy some clothes. Let's just buy a little bit of all the, uh, the cheap stuff. Let's buy a souvenir shop as well. There we are. Right. Go back to the shop. Okie dokie. So sold. Three things. Needs improvement. It's my second day! That's harsh. I mean, bought nothing. I bought a bunch of stuff. Ah, uh, so. Right, okay, we're back here again. Oh, geez, Receive me, I have a moment, please. What's up? It's only the desk. I have a suggestion concerning its repayment. You do? Paying it all back at once is wholly beyond your means, so I reckon smaller weekly payments to slowly chip away at it. Fair enough. You never told me about how big the debt is. That's a fair point. That's not. F no, that ain't on. You need to be open about how much she owes you. There should be a con- it's in the contract, presumably. The Scorpion Spills Dean will increase the payment size. Payment date nearest to the current date. Along with the amount due to the calendar in the main menu. Okay. Right, so I'm making weekly payments. How do I- How do I main menu? Oh, there we are. Are you going to owe 10,000 monies by, in like four days? Oh, Jesus buggering Christ, the screw. Focus staff. Um, wooden bow. Glove. Clothes inside there. Raincoat there. Is there anything else left to sell? Now, let's put a shield over there. There. And I'll the souvenir charm in the centre. And we're all done. Right, let's try selling some of this bombs. Yay, people, buy my shit. Hey, it's that guy. You, I bought that off you. <laughs> I bought it from you. You certainly can, my friend. Here, have it for 135. Can I manage a little less than that? I certainly can! That seems fair enough. Thank you! Uh, you sold the leather, leather glove to the guy who bought it. I think he's just being nice to us at this point. This will do. You want an old sword. Cool. So I go... I think for one foot thirty-three. 
132. Oh, okay. So 130 is a rough guess. If I go for 32, we're usually likely to get it, I think. Okay, someone else buy some stuff. Hello there, old man again. You want the focus staff as well? Okie dokie. Get that to get 30. 130. 133. Too much. Okay, 132. Madness. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe taking it down by one money was not a wise idea. Uh, I haven't got a lot of money. So. Someone else buy stuff. My daughter in law asked me to pick this up. You want. One thirty-four. Hey, expensive. I can go a little bit lower, buddy. How about five twenty-five? I should do it. I think that's crazy. What was wrong with that price? That was a perfectly reasonable price for a bow. Ah, oh, what do you want? Speaking of time, I plan on doing some mild schedule management from now on to ensure you're working effectively for the debt. Yeah. What do you mean? Right. Okay. Yeah. The time. Okay. I figured that out so far. Day. Slice of time. Yeah, we. Yeah, I, I can understand how a time mechanic works. It's, this isn't complicated. Detail. Only out between morning and night. When night ends, you go to bed. Don't worry. Okay, close up when it's night time. Open store or go do stuff. There's two of us. Why can't you manage the store while I get stuff, or vice versa? Okay. What if I'd like to go past the chapel? Right, so going out to town costs one, going back costs one, but actually being in town is fine. Right, so if I'm going into town, make sure I do everything. In town together, visiting a dungeon, walking in two slices of the middle of you go in the morning or back in the evening. That's precisely how it works, yeah, yeah. You don't need to explain to me that adding two to the clock adds two to it. So I can only go out first thing in the morning or in the mid morning, okay. Oh, do I get adventure companions? It's not that, it's. No, the concept of time is not complicated. Yeah, I figured it out before any of this started. I'm not surprised you'll, you'll explain it again. Okay. Uh, sod it, I'm going to the pub. Why? What? Why is nobody at the pub? Fine, let's go to church. I'm a finance company. Work for Tiddy Finance. Employed by them, what's it like? Not quite accurate. I was contracted to... Who do you work for? You work for us? You work with us via Timmy, but you work for Timmy for someone else? All your fairies in human society belong to a fairy specific contract agency. Okay. This is necessary world building, I'm sure. So, okay, so fairies find it difficult to find work in human societies, so we've got agencies that send them out, got it. Why is this conversation happening in a church? Why did that all have to happen in the church? That's weird. Let's go to the town square. Someone here do something. Nobody's in the town square. What? Alright, let's buy more tat. Um, buy another sword, because we sold one of them if memory serves. Um, I, we sold a glove, didn't we? Let's get another one of them. I have uh, been playing for almost an hour, so I think I'm going to call it a, uh, a day soon. Let's just sell stuff one more time. 
then I'll call it a day. And if anyone in the comments would like to leave any advice on how to make this work better, then by all means. Because I think this game is going to be interesting, just very talky so far. That's why this is going to be a longer episode than usual, just so I can get past the intro stuff. You want to buy the sword? Why is it a lucky day to find a crappy sword? Okay, just... Read out a little bit. Eh, yeah, fine. Can I see going lower? Thank you, friend. Now, piss off with you. So we have a little bit of money. Right. And that's the game. Right, so... Yes. Oh, acceptable. Hooray. But I can tell Tia is not particularly impressed. Right, okay. Yes, so... Let me know what you're thinking of the game as a concept. I admit this episode may not be the best one for it. Um, but I think it does have a bit of promise. So I'm going to stick out this with a few more episodes. They won't all be as long as this one. Unless it tutorialises me up the bum again. So, yes. Comments, advice, help. If you think it looks interesting. As I said, it's only about three quid at the moment. So, buy it. And speaking of buying things, I'm going to make that tenuous link to saying bye! Bye! <laughs>